I think at some point Samsung messed up and they didn't want to make people pissed. What I'm talking about here is this. Take a look at the navigation bar at the bottom. You have the multitasking key over here on the left, you have the home key in the middle, and then on the right side you have the back button. At some point Android had it in reverse and Samsung had to change it because the Android system changed. So then they're like, okay, how do we make sure that people aren't pissed off? Because if you're using your phone to go back or to do multitasking, you have your finger placement in the right place and you've gotten used to it. But then what they've done was kind of cool actually. They went ahead and added in the options, an option to reverse this. And it's cool because if you want to do back, it's more convenient for you to have that on the right side and multitasking on the left. However, if you are constant multitask, or maybe it's better for you to have it on the right side. There's two options, and this is what's great about Android, and I'm going to show you how to activate those options, that you can customize a whole lot of things on your phone without having to resort to buying a new phone iPhone tries, however, Android is way ahead when it comes to customizations, and I'm going to show you exactly how to reverse this order. Bookmark this video for later and share it with your friends, because a lot of people may not know this. It's quite simple to pull off. All you have to do is just go to your settings. In the settings, go to your display settings. Under display, at the very bottom, you'll find that it says accidental protection, so on and so forth. But above that, the navigation bar, you can swipe up like so, and you can tap on more options. And you can change the order to have the back button on the left-hand side, and then the multitasking on the right, or just go back to the default way of doing things. Well, there's a lot more to discover. If you want to see more Android tips and tricks, type in Android tips in the comments. And if we get enough, I'll cover more in the next video.